Hello and good evening. Welcome to a dog stream. We're going to be working on some more Piku Jives. Whoop whoop. How are you doing, Topspin? India says whoop whoop. Yeah, you can have the mic on. Yep, it's on. Okay, it's off while you pull it down to yourself. Okay, it's on now. I'm gonna. Whoop whoop! Cool. India's next to me. Um, great. I'm not present really. I'm just here to provide additional commentary and occasionally make noises, and that's it. He's gonna. He's gonna. Um, I'm listening to the Let's Fight a Boss video game podcast. Hey! And I'm doing some board revisions. It's a nice cozy night. I have some iced tea and a hot water bottle. And I'm with my favourite bear. Life is good. Life is good. Topspin says, hooray, revision. Hooray for revisions! Making the thing better than it was before! Alrighty. I was thinking I was going to do explosions and a bit of texture painting. Um, I might leave the explosions for a little bit. And uh, the texture painting I wanted to do was to get a rough <clears throat> placeholder texture done for... Um, the pirate figure galleon. Oh, let me show you topspin. This is this is what this is all for. Um, bop. Ta da. Oh wow, that, I need to do that. It's a game! Da -da -da, da -da -da -da. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> That is wonderful and you want to play it. Well that is the great that is the effect I wish boop, the footage boop, from the stream boop, to have boop. on you. There's also Chonky Cat, who is friend. Um I'm programming bits of it, but most of the programming or more of the technical programming is gonna be done by my friend. And uh, some of the character controller stuff on the cat is a little bark. Like if I run up a, up a ramp, he's like, yeah, gravity. Uh, yeah, I remember that. There we go. Boop. But I'm just using this character controller for now for like testing out the, um, the animations. <laughs> you love the floating. Boop. Jittering. Cat, why you jitter? Probably the wrong one.
do. Du, du. Boop. 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 Yeah, I've got attack animations based on um, whether you're pushing on the stick or not. So you'll do like a running boop. attack when he is running. Boop. And boop. Just a boopy boop. slap boop. attack when he's standing still. Boop. 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 Yeah. I wonder if it's more framey because the window's larger and it has to update more of the screen. No, it's just my computer, I guess. Boop. Boop. So we have this ship on the edge of the map um, that I want to try painting the textures of, at least for the front. Um, and we might even model some. I thought it'd be cool if like two cannons came out of these kind of eye portholes on the um, on the ship, or maybe more like harpoon slash anchor cannons. And then they fire and you can have like cool sort of like a hook here and a hook here that like keeps the, the ship on the on the island. So I've got got the ship here. We could have something like Just, I'll just do its own thing. Add. I just make both of these slightly larger.
I think there's a cool thing you can do with um, like a ra an array of objects along a spline. I was thinking of testing that out to create chains. That might be pretty cool looking. I did it on a, a model for Trashbot way back. I think it'd be useful here. So if I had like... Oh, this is Blender. If I had like... I had... There's a Taurus I can use for the chain link. Probably a little bit too high poly as is. Uh, he used it to fiddle with the Sonic rig once and got scared forever. It's not so bad when you um, I think it just be square chain links might be great. Once you've figured out what you like, what it is you want to do with it in particular. Oh, you're working on a music video. I know how that can be. Uh, so you want to see the tool names? Um, good question. Good question. Um, let me try and think. Oh, wait. That's another view. Okay. Um... Yeah, I think it's literally you grab the edge of it and pull it out. So you just hover over until you get the arrows. Pull it out like that. I thought that was it, but it was like being a little fiddly. You're very welcome. It's, it's, um, Blender's really, um, customizable in terms of UI.
That looks like an okay scale, I think. Eyeballing it. Okay. I can't remember whether it's a path or a bezier. Bezier. Let's try path first, just just in case. No, I don't think this is the right thing. Ah, oh, let's just Google this. <laughs> There's a literally a, like, a video tutorial for this. So. Right now. This is currently the same length as this curve, but it's not following it. So what we need to do is we need to add a curve modifier. So go to add modifier, curve, and then we're just gonna select our curve. Well now, you can see how what this does is this is following the curve. So this will follow the curve. The first thing we wanna do is- Okay, we done that. We got that. Move this on my is I'm going to take the whole thing and I'm going to make a copy of it. So I'm going to do an A to select all, Shift D, E to duplicate, and X in order to move it along this axis. So I'm going to move it until it's about halfway into this link, cool. make up our chain. So we've got our chain links. Now we want to add an array modifier. So go into your modifiers, click on add modifier. Okay, I was about to do that. That was correct, but you stay there. I don't need to do that. Either wrong direction. Or... Yeah. 
true. If I add the count, we get a chain. Cool. Nifty. Then that curve modifier is good to know. Array. And then we want to turn up our count. Now yep. we've done this as a fixed offset. Well, we don't want this to be a fixed count. We want this to fit a length. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to create a curve. So probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, do a straight on view like this. And then we're just going to do a shift A and we're going to add a curve. So and we can add this as a Bezier curve. And so what this has done is this has created a curve. Yeah, okay. Which is what I have here. The curve. Okay. In here, well now I'm gonna hit the tab key and notice how you can adjust these points. So I've got a couple extra in here, so I'm just going to delete the vertices on this. But basically all I'm going to do in this situation is I'm just going to select this vertex and I'm just going to extrude it. And you may want to think about doing this from a straight up and down view. So you can see how I can type the E key in order to extrude this to add additional points to my curve. So I've got a curve now inside my model, a Bezier curve. And so what we want to do is we want to go back, we want to tab back into object mode, and you see where our array modifier was added. Well, we want to set this, we want to set our fit type type to fit length, or fit curve in this case. Cool. Ba -ba -da -da. Okay, so it's the correct length of the curve right now. Cool. So what we want to do, yeah. So we're going to fit it to a curve and we just need to select this curve with the eyedropper like this and we can add that. the Bezier curve. Cool. So you can see how what that did is that basically, ex or it basically created copies of this so that this has the same length as the curve that we created. Well, the only problem with this is right now, this is currently the same length as this curve, but it's not following it. So what we need to do is we need to add a curve modifier. So go to add modifier, curve, and then we're just gonna select our curve. Well now, add modifier, curve. Wait, I drop. Oh. oh. Okay. And does he do some fixes? 
for the warping, or is that, is that just is that just what we got? You can see how what this does is this is following the curve. So this will follow the curve closer if you move it closer to this edge. So like for example, I'm gonna move it on the Y axis to align it here, and oh, the X axis okay. to align it here. But you can see how now this is taking our chain and it's aligning it to our curve object. So you can use this in order to align this to that curve. Well, now you could also come in here wait, and if you wanted to wait, edit wait, wait, wait. any of your chain. What was that? Like? And it's aligning it to our curve object. If you move it closer to this edge, so like for example, I'm gonna move it on the Y axis to align it here, then the X axis to align it here. But you can see how now this is taking our chain and it's aligning it to our curve object. So you can use Whoa. this in order to align this to that curve. Well, now you could also come in here and if you wanted to edit any of your different points, so if we were to take... We... Sweet, cool. It's like This is awesome. And I'm assuming that if I like pull out the um the, these beziers, it'll smooth it. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Okay, that on the Z. On the Z.
pretty dang neato. There we go. Kind of a cool. <clears throat> and then it would be attached to the gang code. I wonder what would happen if I just, I'm really curious um, whether like exporting out all of these would just like apply the modifiers to the um, chain or whether I'll get something gobbled. Let me just do this. And file export. So if I don't have to apply the modifiers, that's dope. Objects, furniture, furniture. Then you guys two, uh, asset. Oh, we didn't really have to think about that for all that long. Oh, sweet. Just immediately we have a chain. That's off the chain. Shazane. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's, that's awesome. And it's just like one object. Yeah, it is just the chain link. E. That's cool. Hey, dude, how you doing? Um. I don't know how to pronounce your name. I I Kel. I I Kel. You feel? Cool. Let's make the anchor then.
I'll just put a mirror modifier on this so I only have to model one side of it. So are you able to are you able to um talk about the music video you're doing top spin or is it kind of under wrap I'm curious Ooh, it would be cool if the, these were like spiked at the end you can do that by doing think, W no not W Shift W? No. Okay. Um, Alt M? Yeah, center. Jonathan Young. That rings a bell. Oh, yeah. He does like the metal versions and stuff. Sweet. Or maybe not just metal version. Yeah, that's sweet, dude. Oh, it's your best work. Ah, uh, that was good when you get to uh, get to do stuff like that. I shouldn't have collapsed that. I actually want more of a. Uh, Um, are you doing it solo or are you doing it as part of a team? That's cool. <laughs> what does an anchor look like? I'm like doing this out of my head and I'm like... What makes an anchor look like an anchor? Oh, it's got the kind of spiky thing. Okay. Boomer, no.
No way! I can't believe this! Oh. Ten months of fat streams, let's go. Thank you. Thank you. How are you doing, Grog? How are you this evening? Um, I'm doing stuff for the ship, so I'm gonna have oh, like harpoon cannon things that are anchors um, that sort of hook the ship onto the beach. So we're gonna come down like here and here as a nice kind of framing device for the for the ship. Don't ask me how they get fired out of such tiny cannon. Maybe they fold out. Hey, it's really wacky. Welcome. Doing okay? Yeah, thanks. Just about to explore this out, see what it looks like. Cool. You see, since the ship is like anchored up might be easier to kind of play actually I was gonna say it might be easier to place these elements on oh no it's fine fine that points here You're progressing on this super fast unless my estimates for how long a project list you take. Uh, just from like what I'm doing, because uh, a lot of a lot of some like a lot of the assets had already been done a while back. So some of them are 
some of them are new, some of them are old. Oh, no worries. I think it's really wacky. I think one thing I'm noticing is I want the um to be way bigger. I actually don't know how, how long my progress would take in comparison to others. I've never really been um, in a situation to sort of match up. I don't think I'm particularly fast, but I don't think I'm particularly slow on the sort of stuff either. There we are. One sort of dummy placeholder anchor.
That's pretty good scale wise. Maybe slightly too big. Do you know what? Mm. Trying to work out whether I want to have like a state for this ship where it's not straight on or not. If it's not going to move, I may as well create like a bespoke, a bespoke version. I could add like one bone and skin them all to it. Nah, that's what go. Oh, shit. I just tried to like make geometry where there simply wasn't any.
This might work. I'll go with Brisbane. It is indeed. It is indeed. Tomorrow is Christmas Eve. Are you excited, India? Uh, for Christmas Eve? Yeah. I don't know. I guess so, yeah. There's going to be magic. It's going to be magical! In the air, it's been, there's going to be magic. La 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 la. Do 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 do. Can we handle all that magic? I don't know, can you? I don't know, can I? What if I explode through magic? Through magic you explode. What if, what if the magic makes me explode? You could well explode because of the magic. Oh no. But then what will you do? I will explode along with you. What if you don't? What if I explode and you don't? Uh, well that's the risk you have to take by exploding. I I, but I'm not going to do it deliberately. It's just going to happen. You'll be all alone for Christmas. Yeah, and someone will be like, what did you get for Christmas? And I'll be like, Viscera. Oh no. At least with the amount of sweets and chocolate I'll eat, <laughs> it will be mostly candy viscera. Candy oh, candy viscera. Mm. If it's all that sugar, then you'll be well preserved. True. You'd just come out like My jam. chunks will be well preserved. Your what? My chunks will be well preserved. Your chunks. I thought you said your chunks. My chunk. Your chunk will be preserved in the jam of your being. Yeah. Are you eating? Chocolate. Oh, okay. Play with Jaffos for a sec. I ain't got no Jaffos. Ain't no Jaffos when they're sold out. Only chocolate every day. Ain't no Jaffas when they're sold out and they're always out of stock when it's nearly Christmas Day. I was impressed. No, truly. Really, really, yeah. I rhymed day with day. Oh. Take that! <laughs> <laughs> 
lyric writers. I didn't hear that. How you do it. It's 4 a.m. You're not even tired, says the song. I can relate heavily to that. Evening streams, tell your friends, dog is streaming again. Listen to the midnight radio. He's working on his boat, he's gonna make a ship, it's gotta pay you naughty bandit. Golden pretty shit. <laughs> Uh, Swifty is. She's here to hackle. Mike, what's your big doofy head doing? It's smelling! There you go. I don't know what that the tune is to yours, Dark Bolt. Does that have a melody that it's going to particularly? Midnight Radio. Let it go. I am one with the wind and snow. Because that's what it should be. <laughs> no, it's the wind and sky. In no, there. it's not. Of course, it should be the mm. wind and sky. The obvious thing. I mean, they do they do rhyme cry with it afterwards. But it still bothers me every time. I'm one with the wind and snow. Yeah. When I first heard the song, I just assumed that's what she would sing, and when she didn't, I was like... What? What? Oh, I'm confused. Oh, I've confused myself. I don't care what they're going to say. I'll do it my way. My way. Anyway. I In wanna do it. It's In my way. India got me to watch uh, Evangelion in five minutes, and it was great. It was really funny. It was really, really funny. I liked it a lot. Yeah. And it did a very good job of summarizing the series, too. It did, yeah. It didn't skimp. If anyone, like, isn't bothered about being completely spoiled on the series and wants to, like, know what the general story is, it's actually a really good thing to watch. <laughs> Uh, I, I, like, I think more like they summarize major points and everything, but I don't think, I think you need to know the series in order to, like, recognize what points they're making. Maybe. I love how, like, I love how they just made Shinji's dad have no subtext. He just basically stated yeah. what his actions like, were saying. Yes, I'm happy about this. <laughs> For some reason. <laughs> Great. No, I'm not ending. You're good. We do have a uh, a hangout tonight with uh, Jenny and the gang. You have a hangout with Jenny and the gang. How am I supposed to do it while you're streaming? Oh. You can go... Oh, I see. Uh, on your iPad elsewhere. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. You'd exile I me. I didn't think that's through. 
I didn't think this. Uh, oh, I genuinely just thought, okay. I mean, I could mute the microphone and just type into the chat and just keep working. Uh. But you could always end the stream. We've only been going an hour. I have not only been going an hour. I'm going an hour and 17 minutes. An hour and 17 minutes. 17 minutes. Dangerous Bunch is like, did I make it this time? Don't tell me your ending. And then Indy's just sort of like, bah. Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> I think this front part of the Pigu needs to clarify. Missing. I'm so so angry. There we go. The song is basically your parents are trying to talk to you, but they're downstairs. What? Yeah. India, what's your favorite thing about Christmas? Um, 
it. The feeling of being, having nothing to do except things that you like and simultaneously everything has converged to be what you like. Like, there are new games that you receive that you can play. Yeah. There is like nothing but heartwarming movies on. Um, the the food is there's effort put into the food. Yeah. There's effort put into the atmosphere. Like it's a time when everyone kind of comes together to create this overall feeling of like goodwill and happiness and hope. And it's just like a really nice warm feeling to be snuggled in on a dark night with like warm food and warm drink. That's real. Um, watching and playing things with warm sentiment together with nothing else expected of you than to enjoy yourself. Yeah, that's really nice. Yeah. What about you? That. No, I think I think that's a really good summary. Um, just that feeling of like uh, organized wholesomeness. Yeah. Wholesomeness. Per permit permitted wholesomeness and an like exhalation of like letting letting you out your breath it was interesting to see how universally like um people were like when you get the scissors to glide on wrapping paper that's the best feeling ever That is the one true highlight of wrapping presents. Is is that if you manage to get the glide. I like it when um I manage to wrap on it, it doesn't look like shit. Like that's a good good feeling. <laughs> it doesn't happen very often for me because I'm not very good at wrapping Are presents. Are you not very good at wrapping presents? Nope. I'm really bad thought, at wrapping I presents. I would have thought you'd be amazing at wrapping presents. I don't have patience for you, it. I yeah. No wonder I love you. Like, I don't have patience for that shit either. I like I like wrapping it because I like someone unwrapping it. I like the mystery. I like giving people things that are wrapped. But um, I'm not very good at it and I can't... <laughs> I can't bring myself to become good at it. <laughs> My dad used to wrap things in um, old newspapers. Yeah? I always liked that. You get a present and a story. It's just thrifty, thrifty swifty. That's uh -huh. what that's what he's called. So you're old swifty. He's thrifty swifty. And he's thrifty. He's old swifty as well, but you see, we change modes depending on what we're doing. You know, if we're robbing something, with we're, we're shifty swifties. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, if we're like sorting mail or something with sifty swifties, <laughs> so it changes depending on what we're, <laughs> we're doing. And if you're crossing dimensions, you're rifty swifties. Yeah, yeah, you got it. Okay. <laughs> when we get swole, we're lifty swifties. And when you're angry, you're mifty swifties. <laughs> yeah. And when you receive presents, you are gifty swifty. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and when you age 17 years, you're 50 swifty. <laughs> <laughs> Truth. This no, I'm outside. I'm sorry. Sometimes I do this. And I forgot that we're streaming. <laughs> you just go and do a video. Yeah, it's in my ear. I like to imitate noises.
Okay, so I want to have it so that this corner goes over to here so that we have like a very defined like the muzzle of the, the snout comes out from there so that we can... What you doing? What? What am I doing? What are you doing? Are you watching What me? you doing? <laughs> I'm making the boat. The boat? Yeah. So you was talking about a muzzle? Yeah, there's a muzzle on the boat. What did your boat got a muzzle for? So that your players can run out of its mouth. Why has it got a mouth? It's got a mouth at the front of it. Why? Because that's a big door. Why has it got a mouth for a door? Because I wanted to put a face of the pig on the, on the boat. Oh. <laughs> Satisfied? Mm -hmm. Oh. Sounds cool. I'll buy three. You'll buy three. I think I think you could just have the game. Three teen. Three T. Good job. Good job, thank you. Good job. Well, good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Yeah. It's very cute. It is very cute. It's a cute. It is a cute. So are you? You're obtuse. You're a flute. <laughs> Do you know the flute was the first um first ever found instrument? Found instrument. First discovered, like oh, right. first one we have records of is a flute. Which was made from mammoth bones. From mammoth. <laughs> yeah. I guess they live on in the music. Come here, big elephant I mean I'm for... assuming that they didn't just get murder the entire mammoth to make a flute I'm assuming they were like we have bones left what should we do to make a flute let's blow them <laughs> Michael that's very inappropriate like what do you think the mammoth would would feel if it could hear you now talking about it that way envy envy I don't... it'd be like I wish I could stream <laughs> a mammoth on Twitch, people would love that. People love mammoths. <laughs> people do love I've mammoths. seen Ice Age. Oh man. I didn't appreciate the stereotypes. <laughs> uh, you ever watch Everybody Loves Raymond? Why is there a mammoth? No, but the voice of the mammoth in Ice Age is the voice of Raymond in Everybody I have. I hated that series. What? I didn't understand why it was telling me that people liked Raymond. I found him most dislikable. <laughs> I wondered if you would or not. Sorry, most unlikable. Use correct English. I did not enjoy that series. I much preferred the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, who I found to be extremely likable. <laughs> Is that so? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think Everybody Loves Raymond would have been better if it was Fresh Prince of Bel Air. <laughs> you think the, the whole show would have been better if it was another show? Yeah. But it wasn't. I'm not sure that's how, how critique works in the Well, end. obviously not because it's still Everybody Loves Raymond. That's so Raven. Well, I'm going to go and pee. Uh, okay. And then, and then I'm going to make myself a drink to replenish <laughs> my pee supply. So I can deposit again later. Is there anything you'd like from the kitchen? No. Alright. Thank you for the offer though. Oh, you're welcome. Here I go. <laughs> Alright. Enjoy. Ah, uh, we will we'll have a great time. Wish me luck. Good luck. Thank. <laughs> I'm not really sure why you told everyone. I don't know. I was just felt like being candid. Everybody pees. Yeah. The universal is something that should bring us all closer together. Not everybody says it on it. Uh, well, I guess. I've heard Ross be like, I'm gonna go pee. 
Well, I guess in that case, I'm going to go and powder my nose. Is that what that means? I don't know. I know I think women actually do powder their noses. I think they get the, what do you call it? The makeup powder, the foundation powder, and then they have a big poof and then they dab the great. poof and then they dab, they hit their face with the poof and it, it on their nose and it makes it uh, less shiny. Oh, is that what that's for? Yeah, so I mean, like you always look dry. I mean, food looks shiny as well and we think that looks delicious. Yeah, so. but people's noses aren't something that generally people want them to be shiny. I don't mind. Why are you looking at me when you say that? Are you saying my nose is shiny? I wanted to see if your nose was shiny. I gotta go I'm powder minded. it. <laughs> I'll go powder my nose. I don't get it. Humans are so unforgiving about the appearance of other humans. I'm like. That's because humans have decided that being attractive is one of the most important things you can possibly be. Because that's valuable. Yeah. Oh no. So. So it defines a lot of people's worth. More. I think kindness is more valuable. Well, that's lovely. And it is completely the way that the world should work. But unfortunately, that's not the way that a lot of people see it. A lot of people will yell at you for a shiny nose. They'll be like, hey. Shine your nose. Yeah. Hey. Shine face. <laughs> a lighthouse. It's like, hey, Michael Bay. With the lens flare coming off your nose. <laughs> My Look! Way. You you are not a real woman, go and powder it. Only that's, then will I approve your existence. That's so dumb. Yeah, well, you know, humans are dumb. Humans also don't approve of of my hairy lady legs. <laughs> they don't understand it's one of my best features. And you know how many Keeps ladies are out there being cold right now, not me. <laughs> I have a natural protective layer. My legs. <laughs> She's not kidding. <laughs> they they are they're great. They are they are impressive. It's like having leg like, warmers. You got hobbit feet. I, are you saying that's just because of the hair, or are you saying I have particularly large feet? Um, for your for your height, you have pretty large feet. <gasps> oh, could you? You know what they say about big feet, though. Big hands? Big heart. Big heart, really? Mm -hmm. That's what I say, anyway. <laughs> Go and pee. Okay. I'm going. It's just nice and warm here. Hard to motivate myself to move. But I'm going. It's a strange one, Mr. Grinch. Said hello. Goodbye. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
There we go. Okay. We used I used to have a um image texture in here. See if I still do Yeah, this one. Boat. I think I'm just gonna work on texturing it properly. This is like based on the old mesh slash old texture that I've like grabbed and added it. Hello, how are you doing?
Oh, you're doing good. That's awesome. Glad to hear. I'm just working on um, texturing a ship at the moment. I'm grabbing an old texture that I made for another ship and I'm gonna use it as a base. This is the ship currently. You can see the texture scale on this is uh, too big. Like, I wouldn't want the boards to be as big as this one. Oh, yeah. Percent scale. So. First things first, this boat's meant to be green, so... Sounds like a computer. You can do it, computer. It's because I'm looking at Sketchfab, I think. Like, oh, I can't take this 3D model. Oh, I see. I'm like, oh, please. Try something else. Playing a bunch of cyberpunk. Cool. Ooh. Like meme references or something in it. And you imagine there was like something we'd worked on was referenced in cyberpunk. That'd be great. Jack me.
Lost. I lost. I left and I came back and it's gone. Did you take it with you? I don't think so. Oh, I just sat down. Oh, oh. no. Ow. Ah. I didn't. I um, I tried to get up from my chair to find my pen, and because my headphone cord is so short, oh. that it's always stretched taut. Whenever I get up, my knee like pulls across it, which pulls my head down, and my headphones off my head, and oh. hurts every time. Oh, no. And it happens every time because I forget every time. Ugh. Ah. In the bathroom. Of course, that is where you went first. Yeah. Be cool. Ping. Polish woman. I'm just guessing this boat shape thing. You know what, let's just let's just unwrap it. We could like guessing what it would be. You can't remember the name of Pussy One, it's the one that used to make fun of fans who are over enthusiastic or anything. A company name. Oh, I'm not familiar. So Soy Jack. Okay.
The reference isn't an exact one-to-one -one creation of the game, but it's definitely inspired by the movie. I wonder what they included that for. Whether it's a commentary on their own fans or not. I think what I'd like to do is have it so that the outside of the ship is just along the top half of this um, this texture. I used to try and do it so that like the, I would only have to paint a certain point and it would share the texture along, like a repeating thing, but since this is going to be more bespoke and uh, it's one ship I need to focus on, I think I'm going to like do particular stuff to the front and the back of the ship, which calls for more texture space. Make a new layer that merges everything visible into its own layer. And I just like it all. Drag it over. Okay, cool. You've got a new texture. Or at least if it's attempting to make a new texture file.
Or you want me to wrap up at 8 India so you can pop into the hangout chat? I think so. Are you not going to join in? We'll see. Wow, but just... Oh, it just straight up poop that. No, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait for you. I'll wait you out. Yeah, this is gonna... This, uh, I think I'm gonna wrap up here, you guys. Um, We'll be back tomorrow. For more streaming shenanigans in the morning with the animation breakfast club. I think India is going to continue working on her. Oh, it came back. Cool. Um, India is going to continue working on her. Um, are you doing more turtle meme stuff? It might be, yeah. Like, just okay. get that wrapped. Cool. Um, yeah, there it is after. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna be continuing on this. Like I, I don't know. I uh, I feel like I'm preventing you from jumping into the call, which I don't. I was I was thinking I might order myself some food in a sec. So I'm getting kind of peckish, and oh. I was thinking maybe to see if the sushi place was open. Grab some sushi. Cool. Okay. So you're not not holding me up. Um, oh, okay. I I don't want to keep people waiting too long though, because I don't know how long they're gonna be meeting for. Yeah. I don't suppose there's anything that you would like. No, I'm good, thank you. Uh, the sushi place that is directly underneath where we live is amazing. Yeah. Uh, I'm aware that uh, India has like a hangout with some friends and I don't want to prevent them from doing it. But I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm so indecisive. It's <laughs> living above a sushi place. You'd think India would have it more, but uh, yeah. What sushi? Yeah. It's just because it's like. It's about 10 euros a pop, you know? Yeah. So it's, you know, more expensive than. Uh, burritos or sandwiches and I try not to order out a whole lot just because I know like there are much healthier options than ordering out all the time yeah but I think this that sushi is one of the healthier options um, and it's it's really nice so Got the green ship going on. Because th I think that confirmation of what I just ordered will come through my phone. I do and not have your phone. I think your phone's downstairs. I'm like particularly wanting to, to know it's definitely confirmed just because I'm not sure of their Christmas hours. And I'm assuming they'll be open, but... I think your phone is downstairs and dead. Do you know where the charger is?
will you be uh, stopping streaming soon enough for you to grab it and put it on chart? Maybe. Okay. Probably. Probably not. You should go grab it. Eight twenty. Okay. I'll go for another half hour then. Thanks for placing it on my forearm. It's okay. You don't have to thank me. It was very easy for me to do. That's for you! Okay, let's unwrap this bit. Hope you're all enjoying the uh, chill, just quiet atmosphere of Zoe working on the show. You are. Good. been up for a while. You're doing some art studies while you watch. What are you, what are you studying at Halfway? Hmm. 
Yeah, I agree. Knowing this company is weirdly reassuring. If we just started all working together. Well, I'm glad to be able to provide that. Awesome. Food. Food is happening. Pick up at uh, 8 10. I got a uh, vegan roll and some mochi. Oh, cool. There's an artist you call, like called Bonbon and they make awesome Hollow Knight art. You're doing breaking down one of their Mantis Lord illustrations, starting with the details. Then drawing the shapes and their highlights. Mark this to Steam for our UV shot. Hey, Steiny, how you doing?
He did, yeah. Got one of the figures. Yeah, I'm fairly rested. I wonder if there was one shell. There we go, looking a little better. Actual scale Y.
The deck itself, I think, is going to be a different material. It's going to be like a tileable uh, deck or for a deck. But I need to do stuff specific for like um, bottom hole part and the piggy face part. I'm just gonna like mow everything out so I'm not beholden to it. Broken, sorry. Now I have Wonder, I wonder if it'd be worth killing this down so that it can slot with these. Probably not, no.
India, do you remember when we were watching uh, Raph's Ride Along? Yeah. And there's a part in it where like Raph's in the police station and it has the dude looking down at, at Raph. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure while we were watching it, it was like, that's like out of Super Mario Brothers. That's like out of Super Mario Brothers. Like the, the Super Mario Brothers film. Do you remember me saying that? Um, not specifically. I might actually show me the shot again. I think I know which shot you mean. Well, JJ just put a tweet out that saying it was saying, a reference. Like it's a reference. Like, oh yeah. Like you said, one of the favorites I've worked if I've worked for you, you probably have at least one reference to this movie in your project. And then he's specifically calling out I love in how Super Mario Brothers staged the police station scene, so I asked the board artist to use it as re- inspiration and wrapped right along. It gave the scene a much more interesting power dynamic. I knew it. Get me the first. So cool. What's your name? Mario. Mario what? Mario Mario. 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 What's your name? Luigi. Luigi what? Luigi Mario. I love that. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy that <laughs> JJ's a fan of that movie too because I adore that movie. <laughs> it's so good. I made Elle watch it one night and she was like, that was a trip. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hmm. I I better go and pick up my sush. Go pick up your sush. I'm gonna go pick up my sush. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick pick it up. <laughs> up. Pick pick it up. Yeah. Pick it up. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> sush. Sushi. Sush sush. She. She. Sush. Sush. She she. Pick it up. Sush. Pick it. Sush. Pick it up. Sush sush. Can you pick up when I put it down? Pick it up. Pick your sushi up. Do 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 do. What did you get? Yeah, what kind of sushi? Vegan roll. Uh-huh. The movie really is something though. Probably. I would believe it if it did. (laughs) And the sequel was never. I heard that the production on that movie was like kind of horrible to work on. Um, I don't think any of the actors had a good time.
all of them probably took one look at the game and took one took and then one look at the script and just complained how inaccurate it is to the game. Uh I think it was like the directors were very particular about their vision or something, or like they were unyielding in their uh, approach or something, I don't, I don't know. It must be one of the earliest video game movies. You guys ever watched the Street Fighter film? That is also a trip. <laughs> of course! I mean, is that an M. Bison reference? Because I'm like... My brain is like bringing him to mind. It's a bison reference from the movie. See, see, it's ah, oh, I, I didn't, I just, did, I did it on instinct. I didn't even think about it or remember. I was like, wait, wait. Well, if you don't start, you little bizarre. I can hear you scuttling around behind me. Don't you mew. Don't do it. She scuttled away. <laughs> and that is how you reprimand the cat. Where is my... There it is. Yeah, Ra Raul, Julia, and he took the role of M. Bison, like, really seriously. It's got, um, Jean-Claude Van Damme as well as, uh... Who did he play? Uh... Uh, I know that I... Uh, what's he called? The dude with the hair! Guile, yeah. Yeah, when Hollywood are given like a concept, they're like, oh sure, yeah, well, okay, cool. And it's like, this isn't anything like that. All right. Fine. Guy, what was it? Yeah. Thank you. He did that for his children. That was his last role in movies, was, was M. Bison. Oh no. Was he not Gomez as well? Or not? Or not? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was. He was. Of course he was. Thank you for the follow!
Tim Curry was was Gomez. I don't think I've ever seen the third Adams Family movie. Yeah, all right. Mute in the India. I would have thought there'd be something. Something else that would have been his favorite role, but that's the thing. Maybe it's all like the wire working coolness. I don't think I do know the tips, Fedora. Oh, now I do. I've seen the third one. Oh, they're so different. They're so, so, so different. Except for maybe Lurch. I think Lurch might be the same. And Lurch and the Grandmother. Oh wait, no. I saw it. I saw a screen cap of like a, another of like I thought it was the third one, but it's not. Thank you. 
No way! I can't believe this! Oh, hey, Kieran. How are you doing? Thank you for the subscription. Woo, too much. Oh, did I not? I only saved it. Okay, file. Save it. Okay. Mm. Come on, CSP, you can do it. I believe in you. Let's go time. Okay. Yeah, I don't think it crashed. I think it was like taking it's it, it weirdly saves and then errors, but then it's fine. Um, I'm gonna head off, you guys. So it's been cool and chill. I'll keep working behind the scenes on this boat. So maybe next time I'll be a little further along and you can see more of the texture painting projects. So yeah. Thanks everyone, take care, and may the rest of your evening be filled with adventure. Take care everyone. Bye bye. You same to you, Kieran. If I don't see you, Merry Christmas. And same to everyone here. If I don't see you again before then, hope you all have a good holiday. Take care everyone. Bye bye.